Have you ever gotten to the end of a filming day and taken your footage into a computer and realized you've underlit your subject? Well, if that's true, I'm gonna show you exactly how to relight your subject using DaVinci's Relight plugin. Let's have a look. All right, once you've loaded your footage into DaVinci Resolve, you can see there's a pretty ugly shot of me. I've color corrected slightly, as you can see on the right-hand side, but it's underlit, and I've underlit that on purpose, and I look absolutely horrible in this particular shot. But what are you gonna do? I'm old. First thing you wanna do is click on Effects up the top, and then go to Open Effects, and then Filters, and type in Relight. So type in the search bar here, Relight. Do you see the effect comes up here? Grab that, hold and click, and drag that onto your footage. And you can see it's changed me into some kind of weird plasticine clay model person. So let's click on the inspector up the top right here. So we can see that a bit easier. And you can get to the settings of what Relight provides. If you click the Relight button here, you can see you can turn it on and off. It'll come back in in a second. There it is. Now you want to go down to your arrow over here on the left here and click that down arrow and click on Open FX Overlay. And you need to do that because you want control of your light. Now you can see the light here, and I'm moving it around the subject. And as you can see, you can actually, if I put light on this side, you can see the shadows coming on that side. If I go above, the shadows come underneath. And around the other side, the shadows go on the left. You're literally relighting the subject and it's using it in a 3D space. Now, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but it does it via an AI engine. Now over in Spectre on the right hand side you have a whole bunch of settings you can use to control this light. This particular light is a point source light, but you can change it to spotlight and you can change it to directional if that's what you're after. But if you really want to see how it looks you click untick this box here Relighting Map Preview and you can see what it's actually doing to your footage. So go back to point source. You can increase the intensity by dragging it up and down like this and you can move it around by touching the light down the bottom. As you can see, you can move that light around, you want more directional and more intense, you go from here and you can move that light around exactly where you want to put it. If you click on Spotlight, for instance, you can see you want the spotlight right here. You can do the intensity of it. You've got quite a bit of control with extra lighting and so on. And you see as you move it around, the shadows move around with it. Now under light properties on the right hand side here, you've got all these other settings you can do. You can, you can click on the reach which will broaden your light for instance. Glossiness and how, how bright and how glossy you want that light. Shadow softness you can adjust if you want softer shadows. You can even increase the beam on each light that you're using. Now that your subject is lit better, you may need to clean up some facial features or blemishes. You can click on this video here to check that out, or the video underneath that for beginner's tips on how to use DaVinci Resolve. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.